I want to discuss uh, a few tips and tricks for eye stent implantation here, as well as uh, evaluation of eye stent position. So in this case, we're going ahead and we're um, engaging the trocar with the angle. It's a fairly pale looking angle. Um, and so you might argue that um, there is perhaps no functional um, outflow here. But if you um, remove the viscoelastic with your INA handpiece while uh, securing a gonioscopic view, um, you can decompress the, the eye, um, you can induce hypotony. And if you look carefully at the snorkel, um, as pointed out by the arrow, you'll see some blood refluxing through uh, indicating good positioning. In this case, where um, securing a view of the angle here again, you can see part of the angle is quite pale, and in part of the angle you've got a decent amount of blood reflux. There's been a lot of interest in eye stent positioning uh, recently, um, and I think that the, the the key tip here is to really focus on getting the, the trocar in the right position, to avoid trocar bias, to keep your hands as still as possible, and then you fire the stent. And you can see here that the stent is well positioned um, within the trabecular meshwork. Um, and I, I like to tap the stent just to check that the, the body of the stent is within the canal there, and I can see there that we're well positioned. We're now going into an area of pale angle and again look I'm making sure that I can visualize the trocar and you can see here that again the stent is well positioned I'm just tapping it to make sure it's within Schlem's canal just checking the body of the stent and once again in this case we're not going to go in with the IA um, handpiece to have a look but we're going to um, fill the eye with BSS at the end towards the end of the case and what we will see, if you look at the arrows, is excellent reflux um, of BSS into the distal outflow. Now this next case is of an African Caribbean patient with advanced glaucoma and cataract. And the cataract uh, surgery has been completed and we're now securing a view of the angle. And one of the questions I always get asked is how much viscoelastic should one put in the eye? And I think that with the eye stent uh, inject, uh, delivery system, I think you perhaps need a little bit more viscoelastic than you did with the uh, original G1. And the main issue here really is that as you engage the trocar um, with the trabecular meshwork and you apply some pressure, it can distort the view. And really, view is key to being able to implant these stents accurately. Recent studies are beginning to show that uh, stent positioning is not always accurate. And I think if we're going to get good results with this device, then a positioning of the stent is really paramount. It is the most minimally invasive procedure out there, and I think it has excellent efficacy, but it has to be placed accurately. So you can see here, we're visualizing the trocar itself, um, and we we aim for a junction of the upper and low, upper third and lower two thirds, and we can plant the stent um, pretty well there. We get some reflux. and now we're going to this pale part of the angle again and once again you one may argue that perhaps we should avoid these areas the counter argument is, is that these are the areas where there is diminished flow so we should actually target these areas um, and so we go back in and plant the stent well here with good good visualization and you can see i'm just tapping on the stent to see that the body of the stent is in schlem's canal and i'm fairly happy there that we're, we've implanted the stent well, and I think it's useful to just tap the stent like that to gain uh, a good uh, view of the body of the stent. Once again, my my favourite sign is really to look at these uh, out this outflow. You can see there the distal outflow again has uh, blanched with the injection of BSS. So this is the stent that was in the area of relative angle pallor, uh, and we can see that uh, that uh, distal outflow has blanched very well. I hope these tips and tricks have been helpful. Um, thank you very much for your attention.